Aloha, butthole. Welcome to the Flugaloo. Mailroom number 28, I want to say. So if you're a new subscriber, you haven't seen this before, I open mail from you guys. Send in pretty much whatever you want to the P.O. Box. Address is down there in the corner if you want to send something in. Glad to read it. Just no excretions, please. Don't. Speaking of consumables, always have a beer with me. Uh, this time I'm going with Michelob Ultra Pure Gold. Only 85 calories, 4%. Not bad. Mm. And it's organic. That's the thing. I was talking to a client. I was in Richmond. We have a lot of insurance company clients. And so I was speaking with one of the <laughs> Richmond. And they think that the next class action is going to be Roundup. You know, like Roundup being in food and uh, uh, byproducts, whatever, derivatives of wheat or what have you. So like beer, for example, if you look it up, I mean, don't take my word for it, like Google it, it's, it's fact. There are like so many parts per million of Roundup in every Bud Light you drink and every Miller Light you drink. I don't know if it makes a difference. I mean, there's probably lead in there too, right? But I mean, if it's at like such a small level, but the thing is, I think nobody knows and I don't really wanna fucking talk about this. I don't know why I'm going off on this wild ass tangent. The point is, this is, uh, it's organic. I'm gonna do a quick mail room before we do that. Let's announce the gun giveaway winners. As you guys know, give away one gun for every 500 Patreon and Subscribestar supporters. This is the first time that we've had over 1,500 supporters, so thank you guys so much. Uh, I was on the podcast, maybe I'll drop a link in there, uh, the TFB, the Firearm Blog Podcast, and I, I dropped a little note in there for you guys because truly, I know I joke around a lot, but I am in such disbelief whenever I realize like that there are people that actually, you guys are giving your hard-earned money towards this channel, um, and I, I just frankly, I'm at a loss for words. Like, I, I, I don't know what to say other than thank you. Anyways, sappy shit all aside. Usually how it works, and I'm saying usually because it's going to be a little bit different this month, is if you're a 5 or a $10 supporter at Patreon or Subscribestar, you are automatically entered. Of course, by law, I've got to accept manual entries for no charge. Um, and we've got like a little email address. So if you want to uh, email us, you know, I've, I've got to let you enter by law, so it's not gambling, and gambling is awesome, so I really don't get what the problem is. Um, anyways, you you know, so we do, that's how we do it, but if you're 5 or $10 level, you're automatically entered. You're, no matter what, if you are at the 5 or the $10 level, every month when I do the drawing, you're automatically entered. Usually, I'll have like a selection of guns. It'll either be T&E guns that I have, or we'll have like a list of guns. Now, Top Gun Supply is one of our newest sponsors, and I've known those guys for like, it was awesome, like Tom and Michelle Allen, the owners of Top Gun Supply, I've known for 15, 16 years now. And they're like some of the coolest people I know. They're like family to me. So it was really cool for them that, you know, now they've got two stores. They got one in Ohio, one in Florida. And for them to jump on, uh, I thought was amazing. So anyways, they are now doing the gun giveaways. As you can imagine, just like with Ventura Munitions, one of our other sponsors, they're like totally sold out of everything. So basically what we're doing this month is if you're automatically entered, if you're at the $10 level or higher, uh, if, if you get picked, you get a $400 gift certificate to Top Gun Supply. So if all three of you that we pick as winners, and I haven't picked the winners, I'm just gonna flash the names up in a second. I haven't picked them yet, but I will whenever I make the video. Um, but if you're at the $10 level, at the time this video goes live, then you got a $400 gift certificate. If you're at any other level, then you got a $350 gift certificate. Then, of course, we give away blue Alpha Gear belts, and we're gonna give away one belt for every 500 supporters. So now I'm gonna flash the names, flashing, 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 of those winners, the guys who won uh, three $100 gift certificates to blue Alpha Gear. So that's pretty cool. We're giving out $1,500 worth of stuff. Look at that. It's like magic. Uh, but here's where I start to hate you, and that's opening mail. Mm. All right, finish this one off. Mm. Oh, go time, go time. Okay, I owe an apology to Valerie and Andrew from Orem, Utah. Guys, I got this uh, this letter. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it 
fell behind. Something, and this happens periodically, but I got this letter, and it looks like an, a wedding invitation, in July 6 of 2019, or at least that's when it's postmarked. And I'm just opening it now with this Verit Seleka knife. I have no commercial relationship with Verit Seleka, but those guys, I uh, hung out with them at Chacho, Cha, drank beer with them. They gave me this knife, brought it back. Um, I went and checked out their website. They've got some really cool stuff. Verit Seleka. Um, if you abuse the piss out of your knives like I do, that's why, I, and it's funny, it was like totally tasteless. I pretty much was angling for them to give me this knife because they had a bunch of them there, like display models, and I got them to give it to me because I like knives like this with like a thick spine and like a spear grind or a drop point grind because I uh, really abuse my stuff. Anyways, enough about me. Let's read about Valerie and Andrew. Kindly RSVP by July 1st, 2019. Okay, well, that makes me feel a little bit better because this is postmarked July 6, 2019, so I couldn't have RSVP'd anyways. Valerie and Andrew will be sealed for time and all eternity. <laughs> Friday the 19th of July, 2 o'clock. Guys, son of a bitch, that's short notice. You, you mail this to me on the 6th, and you want me to be there 13 days later to your wedding in Oakland, California? <laughs> Oh, geez. Thank you for the invite. You two look like a lovely couple. I really do appreciate it. And here's the letter to James. Yo, James, been watching TFB TV for several years now and watching the growth, variety of content increase, informative, non-political firearm information has been dope. For some reason, I'm friends with your wife via social media. <laughs> and you seem like a dope dude. I'm not. Um, so you're invited to the wedding reception. If you want to drop by, come over. If not, I'll check out those short shorts in the next video. Andrew, thank you. I'm flattered. And you know what? I probably would have. I am that guy. I'm the guy who, uh, and I say that as if I'm joking, um, I'm the guy who will get blackout drunk at your wedding and get the uh, DJ or band to do Sir Mix-a-Lot. And I will uh, sing Baby Got Back at the top of my lungs. I will, I will jack your wedding uh, entertainment. So, I mean, sometimes it goes over well. Sometimes um, I get the police called at a family event. Dingo Distribution. What we got? Tactical Unicorn will shoot you in the face. Very cute. Are you trying to tell me something? All right, I love it when people seal packages with duct tape. That's how I can tell you live by yourself. Some aging millennial, very funny, from Nunga. It's probably some kind of internet code word for, probably just said like a racial slur. All right, letter first. Sup, Panty Poofer. You've been making me and my shit eat, my shit eat buddies, that's what it says. You mean shit eating buddies, and that's still kind of weird laugh for some time now. Carry on, carrying on, James. YouTube can suck a fatty. Yeah, indeed it can. What you got there in the box is some gay coffee beer I got complimentary on a business trip to McAllister, Oklahoma, home of the Moab. So I'm re-gifting it to you considering you drink that hipster juice. Hope you're safe, dude. No homo. When is it homo to wish that your buddies are safe? It's one thing to be like, hey man, stay safe out there. It's a completely different thing to be like, it would be a lot safer if you got into bed with me. We would be safer together here in this bed, together as, as two dudes. Not that there's anything wrong with that uh, at all, of course. Just just throwing that out there. I was just in New Orleans earlier in the year. It looks worse than Harare after, or Harare or whatever, after fall of Rhodesia. Um, I just got to bring it up because Harare, Harar, whatever the fuck, I have actually been there. I was in Zimbabwe maybe three or four years ago. Not making this up. We're flying out of Victoria Falls where we got, of course, we had to pay a hundred dollar bribe to customs to get into the country. It's probably this asshole, like he was reading like a stack of magazines and he just put a stamp on a piece of paper. It's probably like his annual salary, but we're leaving and the power goes out at the airport. So this is the first time in my life where they actually had the crew, the customer service crew, whatever you want to call them, literally handwriting people's boarding passes. Like they were asking for your information, asking you for like, if you had emails or whatever, and they were handwriting boarding passes. There were roaches crawling on, oh dude, 
Uh, I'm not even kidding. And then, and here's where I'm going with that. We were supposed to fly straight from there to Johannesburg. But what happened is we flew from there and they're like, hey, look, whenever we get on the plane, the captain's like, yeah, hey, we're making a, a quick stop. We have to pick a few passengers up in Harare or Harare, whatever the fuck. I, I, I don't know what it's called. But they, they just totally unannounced. They're like, you get on the plane and we're flying an hour out of the way to go to the capital and then we're going to Johannesburg. And it's just like, I mean, totally unheard of. Anyways, that was wild. And dude, it's not that bad here. I, I know it's like, it sounds like everybody, um, they seem to think that for some reason. Uh, but it, I mean, that was like, if you were here like after Katrina or something, but now, man, this is one of the best cities in the world, in my opinion. Um, like even around the tourist streets and the, the French square, the French quarter was crawling in urban decay. Dude, that's called being a 300 year old city. It's not urban decay. It is patina. Maybe that's why you wear those ranger panties. You may need to stay away from K. I'm trying. It'll melt your chromosomes. Bunch of anime pillow humping boomers on that shit. Yeah, no doubt. I leave you with a poem. Here's the church. Here's a steeple. Buy more guns. Commies aren't people. What do I have in here? Prairie Artisan Ales Bomb, Imperial Stout. It should probably be fun. All right, last one, last one. And then I'm gonna go do happy hour. It's date night, like I said. Do happy hour with my wife. Where'd I put my knife? That was a poem by accident. Here we go. This is from Bandit, Bandit the Cat. Cut away from my blood circle. <laughs> Read me first. <clears throat> oh, there's Bandit. This is, by the way, Austin, who is one of the moderators at our Discord and who is now a writer for TFB. Um, I would like to congratulate you on the success of TFB TV. By the way, yesterday we hit 800,000 subs. I'm really excited about that. To celebrate this occasion, I've included items for you, TFB TV vans, and your cats. Enclosed are items from Dead Air, Silencer Co., Brave Response Shooting, CMMG, and Leopold, to name a few. Feel free to give away these items to Patreon and subscribe star members. Patreon scratched out, that's funny. Uh, again, you know, we've brought this up before. I'm not trying to guilt trip anyone off of Patreon because they let us be here, they tolerate us, but you know, they have, they have made us censor our content in the past and they're super anti-gun. Uh, fucking Yankee Marshall got on last time I made a post about it. Like I posted John Patton. John Patton with the Gun Collective he had basically the exact same experience with the exact same customer service guy that I did, where he's like, you can't offer discount codes. And by the way, like all of our discount codes, if you guys just got on Patreon and you, you see that they're inactive, I, I just need to delete them. But you know, you're not allowed to do discount codes because that's procuring weapons and you know, whatever. So um, I had the same experience Patton did. Patton just said, screw it, I'm going to subscribe star. Um, I stayed on Patreon just because, again, you know, it's like mutual tolerance. As long as I tell you guys, give you full disclosure, and let you make the choice, then, you know, do whatever the hell you want because they allow us to be here and whatever. That's fine. They're a bunch of San Franciscans. What more can you ask for? Yankee Marshall just fucking ugh, just blows up, like aggressively blows up. Go find that. Like it was from Mardi Gras, so like February or March or something where he just shit his pants. Enclosed some Temptations treats. I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I knew exactly what it was for your feline friends. Thank you, Austin. Please share these with your kitties post haste. We take care of uh, some stray cats that are in the backyard. So I'm gonna go toss a handful to them in just a moment. Let's see what else we got here. Oh shoot, guys. This is a lot of swag. k &S patch. Oh man, look at this first aid kit. Sorry, I'm keeping this. This is pretty dope. DMMG tactical bacon. Oh my God, just a ton of swag in here. Wow. Okay, well, you know what guys? We'll do a, uh, we'll do a giveaway. So I'll announce it on, whenever this goes live, I'll announce it on Patreon subscribe star. Um, I, I've got a bunch of other swag around the house that I give away. I always like doing stuff like this, like stickers, patches. All right, I'm gonna do a swag giveaway. I've got tons of swag. I need to go to the office and pick up more mailing supplies, more envelopes and shit, because I'm all out of that. Um, and I will do that. I will post it on Patreon and subscribe star. We'll do a little drawing. I'll give away a bunch of swag this week. Um, guys, thanks a ton. You know, again, especially Patreon subscribe star people. Congratulations to our winners, to our uh, gift certificate winners. 
sorry that you didn't win guns. It's way more fun, but you know, you'll be able to use these gift certificates whenever inventory gets open. I mean, Top Gun Supply, even though they're allowed to be open, they're like, dude, we sold out of stuff. And there are a lot of gun stores that are like that. So it's kind of cool. We got a lot of new gun owners, right? Did some videos um, in the past, uh, like past couple of weeks, talking about guns that you should and shouldn't buy uh, during the flu glue. So go check those out if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot more coming for TFB TV. In case you guys haven't noticed, we're doing a video every other day during the coronavirus crisis. Um, things have been good for us. It's We've been able to produce more content and everybody's watching it. Um, but I know many people aren't that fortunate. Please don't hesitate for a second to shut down Patreon, subscribe, star, whatever, and walk on. We'll be fine. Um, and we want you guys to be okay. Because again, uh, what you do means more to me and to all the other guys at TFB TV than I can say. So cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another mailroom. And yes, I am going to shoot the pen 15, hopefully, by the next mailroom video. Take care, guys.